Hey, fellow rock lovers, look at this. This is a nice raw chunk of tiger's eye. Look at that. I looked at this and wondered, what can I do with this piece? It's big, I could break it up and tumble it. Or, I thought, I could slab and cab it. So for this video, let's take this piece of tiger eye, get a couple of slabs off of it, maybe cut it like this, and then take one of those slabs and turn it into a beautiful cabochon. How does that sound? Follow me to the shop and let's get started. Our chunk of tiger's eye has been slabbed. Let's see, will these make something interesting for us? This little end piece looks like it's perfect for the tumbler, right? Let's see this first full slab. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I know it's kind of plain as tiger's eye goes, but that's all right. And here's the last slab. Ooh, okay, I think I like this side the best. This may be a tumbler piece here. Let's take this piece, put a small, oh, I don't know, oval on it maybe, or maybe an egg shape, and then we'll go from there. How about something like that? You see how I've got the, the lines at a bit of an angle there? Yeah, let's do that. Let me go ahead and get this drawn in. There you have it. That's going to be our cabochon right there. Hopefully that'll get a great shine and have some wonderful chatoyancy. So that could be a very big cabochon, but that's okay. You know, good things in small packages, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take this back into the shop, get it trimmed up nicely, get it on a dop stick, and then we'll start making the cabochon. All right, it's all dopped and ready for shaping on the 80 grit wheel. Here's how it looks dry with the dome formed. Our next wheel is the 220 grit. This will clean up all those scratches and fine tune the shape. There you go, that's how it looks. You can start to see the pattern coming through. Next up is this 280 grit soft wheel. More of the patterns coming through now, looking good. Our next wheel is the 600 grit. Normally this is where the shine begins. There you go, you can see a little bit of a reflection there. Maybe a little bit of chatoyancy. For our next wheel, it's the 1200 grit. This should start to give us a good shine. Yeah, there you go. Now we can see a good reflection of the shop lights. Finally, we go to the 3000 grit wheel. Oh, check out the shine now. That's looking good. I could probably stop there, but I think we can do better. Let's get on the, let's get on the Syrian pad. Spend a few minutes here. Oh, now check out the shine. Wow, that's a great reflection. I couldn't be happier with that. All right, well, let's take it inside and take a closer look. The Tiger's Eye Cabochon is all finished. Check it out, what do you think? I just love that chatoyancy, look at that. Dark light, dark light. What a beautiful material. I do like working with it. It's very easy to shape, put a nice dome on it. You can see what it looked like when we started. Yeah, and what it looks like finished. What a beauty. Good polish too, look at that shine. What do you think? Now, I'm very happy with the way this one turned out. Hope you enjoyed this video. I do thank you for watching it. Please remember to check my other videos for a lot more like this. Thanks again.